Hey y'all, this is Troy Black. Um, so I just want to pray real fast and then I've got a word to share with you that I felt like the Lord gave me earlier today. Uh, Lord Jesus, I just ask for your presence to be here right now and no matter who's watching right now or where they are, I just ask that your presence would just show up, Lord, that they would experience you, Jesus, not, not just my words, Lord, but your, you, Holy Spirit, would be speaking to them. Um, and I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for your love and your grace. So, y'all, I uh, sat down earlier today and I got this. I just closed my eyes for a second. I wasn't even, you know, praying or anything, but I have prayed about this, you know, and feel like the Holy Spirit confirmed it to me. Um, but I got this vision. I closed my eyes for a split second and I, I suddenly saw a, um, it was a little manger up on a hill, you know, and baby Jesus laying in the manger and um, outside on this hill and over the manger was the star of Bethlehem um, in the sky, like directly over it. And then behind him, it was kind of like uh, that early morning light, you know, but you can't see the sun yet. So it's very dark still. And I suddenly saw the sun come up, you know, the horizons directly behind him in the distance and the sun came up directly behind his head. So, and it created a halo effect around, you know, the head of baby Jesus from the side. And I saw this and, uh, I just, I felt like this is what the Holy Spirit was saying through it, was this simple phrase, um, the sun is rising, the sun is rising. And what I felt like he meant by that was, um, well, I'll get to that in a sec. <laughs> um, but uh, there's another word that, I, that he gave me, um, and I'm gonna make this video real short. This was on December 3rd, and this was while I was worshiping the Lord one, one evening, and he just said very clearly, he said, Tell my people that I'm ministering a healing wave over them. Tell my people that I'm ministering a healing wave over them. And I felt like this connected. I felt like he wanted me to share this in this video as well. Um, you know, I've said this so many times before, and I just feel like the Lord is really pushing this in the body of Christ right now. Uh, just the truth that we go to so many different places in whether in church or in culture, whether we're buying a Christian book or a non-Christian book, you know, whether we're looking to uh, scripture, the word of God and Christian teachers or to, you know, secular psychology books, whatever it might be. We look at so many different places for healing, whether that's physical healing, emotional healing, mental healing, whatever it might be, you know, and I believe what the Lord is saying through this, the sun is rising, is just that he is the author of life. You know, all of life, all of creation begins and ends with him. It was the world, all of the universe was made by Jesus, for Jesus, and through Jesus. You know, and then he himself, God himself, came down to earth. And it's the word says that Jesus became sin on the cross on our behalf. He became our sin. And so if we're looking for, you know, a, a heart fix, especially if we're looking for a fix of any kind, why do we go anywhere else besides him to the one who who not only created life created us but knows how to sustain that life that he created and also fix it when something gets messed up you know and i feel like this year 2020 a lot of a lot of people's hearts have been um hurt you know maybe some of some of you watching are upset could be upset at god Maybe you're upset at somebody who, I don't know, let you down this year in another way. You know, I know obviously a lot of people have lost their job this year and that kind of thing. And whatever it might be, you know, what I believe the Holy Spirit is saying is the sun is rising on, on those who are willing to just look at Jesus. Just look at Jesus. Um, and I believe that is, that is how the healing wave is going to come. I believe God is wanting to heal the hearts of those who are looking at his son uh, you know, and that reminds me of two things. The first one is I was, uh, for those of y'all who don't know, I've said this a few times before, um, uh, I have the great privilege of being able to work for Dr. Tony Evans um, and his ministry. I've worked uh, with that ministry for um, many years now, almost a decade, and uh, I was on a Zoom call meeting this morning um, with him along with um, a lot of, uh, of the employees at the Urban Alternative. And, and he, uh, is, uh, what I've noticed is when anytime he starts to give an encouraging word, it quickly turns into a sermon. Uh, and uh, I think he was planning this one though. But uh, the main two things that he said that were very encouraging, and I was sitting there listening and I just, like on the call, I started to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the main two things, was the first one was he said, don't you dare give up. 
And the second one was, this is the second point he had, and it was, look at Jesus. Just look at him. Just look at Jesus. Just keep your eyes on him. You know, and I believe that's what the Holy Spirit is saying right now. Just look at him. The, the one who was willing to become our sin. You know, uh, the other thing I was reminded of was in the Old Testament, you know, when the Israelites disobeyed God and um, all these snakes came and they got bit, you know, and they, they, they were, they were going to die. And God told Moses to make a, this bronze um, pole and to put this bronze snake on this pole. And anyone who looked up at this snake would be healed, you know, and that was obviously a picture of what was going to happen in the New Testament when Jesus hung on a tree on a cross. And now anyone who looks at him, any, any, any one of us who chooses to look away from all the other places where we're looking for hope, we're looking for um, encouragement, we're looking for peace, we're looking for healing. When we choose to look away from those other places and we choose to set our, our eyes directly on him, on who he is, on his goodness, on what he did for us at the cross, we get to receive healing in that moment. And I believe that's the, that is the specific word the Holy Spirit is saying right now is that God is wanting to heal the hearts especially, but also, you know, the, the minds, the emotions, the, the bodies of those who are willing to look at Jesus, willing to set our eyes on him, especially going into this new year. So I know things can get really distracting, especially the end of December, you know, with the holidays and everything. But my encouragement to you right now is to take time every day just to look at Jesus, just to get into his presence, just to worship him, to read the word, let that word soak into your heart, you know, into your mind and just to focus on him. And man, y'all, something that has been really encouraging for me lately is just when I'm busy to stop for even a few seconds and focus on the person of Jesus Christ and, and just to believe, just to know Jesus is with me right now. And he, he is never going to leave me, never going to forsake me. He's right here. You know, even if I'm working and I'm busy, he's right there with me and he's working alongside of me, you know, and even if I'm taking care of my kids or I'm, I'm getting them ready for bed at night or whatever it is, Jesus is right there. He's right there with you. What, whatever you're going through right now, whatever you're doing. So I hope this is encouraging to you. I love y'all so much. I'll see you next time.